Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, also known as the Junctress on Etsy. And boy, oh boy. Okay. Woo! What do I say about this kid? I love it! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, um, those of you who avidly follow me, you know I talk. I talk about childhood, but I talk about what I don't remember <laughs> every now and again. I'll have flashbacks. I pray that the Lord would bring things to my memory because I don't have, my mom didn't take a lot of pictures. And so I don't have many pictures. I don't have any pictures of my birthday for my siblings either. No holiday. I mean, the pictures I do have, they're sporadic and I treasure those pictures. And anyway, okay, so I wanted to create a journal that I could dedicate to recovered um, child memories. And I'm really not into the golden book. And so I didn't want to use a golden book as the foundation, as a journal. By the way, you guys, I'm sorry. I did not give you the name of this journal. This journal is called the Happy Journal. <laughs> for the kid in you. It's the type of journal that you can pull out all year long and work in it if you need a bit of sunshine, if you need a bit of joy and happy, you turn to this journal. It is fun. It is vibrant. Now, I wanted something once again, that I could record childhood everything in, but I did not want it to be childish. I did not want it to look grade schoolish, but I did want a youthful vibe. And I have achieved all my heart's desire with this journal, which I am excited to share with you all. It comes, oh my goodness, you know, let me just show you guys how it will be bundled. I have my ordinary kit and then I have a bundle kit haha <laughs> and then I have two bundle items and I was able to get the larger bonus item in the packaging I wasn't for sure if it was going to work I still have to seal this but you guys it is look at this it's protruding it's sticking out it's jam packed <laughs> of goodness now it is 80s theme but you don't, you didn't have to grow up in the 80s to appreciate this. And this kit was inspired by my nice collection of Susie Zoo everything. I love to look at Susie Zoo stickers and cards. And you do get a nice lot of those items in this kit. And those images are so happy. So that's what inspired this Already. kit. So um, I'm not into... The Golden, they're called the Golden Books, something, something. I have a handful of those type of books, but I'm really not into them. I know they're very popular. A lot of crafters like them, and I do like them. But I, anyway, I didn't want to use a Golden Book for my personal journal. And then, I don't know, maybe six to eight months ago, I'm at a thrift store, and I see this whole lot a whole series of books and before I had a chance to flip through them just seeing the covers I knew that yeah this is the kind of book I want to upcycle and alter for my own personal childhood journal and I got a feeling some of you you might like these now what's great about these Number one, they're vintage. They're from the 70s. Some might be from the early 80s. But they're also the right size for a journal. Now, some of you might remember these books, but I don't. Do these look familiar to any of you? And I will get the size of the book. <laughs> I don't know how many books are in this series. It's over 20. I have almost the whole series so these are six and three quarters by 10 inches the perfect size for a journal so I have five lots do I have five yeah five lots available every lot 
will come with the book and if you purchase one of these lots you will get one of these books look at that horse and the books are in pristine condition I have not torn out any pages I mean they look they look brand new to be honest so you see that one Trafalgar Trafalgar I don't know about these names you guys I'm not sure if the well I don't know I didn't read these books growing up, but you see this big old bird, and you see this guy, Captain Smudge, and the Dream Tree, and Cartouche. They're so cute, right? When I saw these, I mean, they don't, well, I did not want a journal that looked too primary. I didn't want it to look and be childish, but I wanted a youthful journal. And let me just flip through one of the pages or one of the books look at these look at that you guys oh my beautiful illustrations full of color and I just think it's so appropriate I mean a kid could use this kit but it's so appropriate for us who are older now if I didn't mention it this kit has an 80s theme I grew up in the 80s, and so I wanted something that I could use for my, you know, my history, my childhood. But you didn't have to grow up in the 80s to get this kit. Just keep that in mind. You can customize it to your liking. Now, look at this. Look at that. You, <laughs> beautiful. Oh, my goodness. The colors are so... Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. So... You start off with this book and, I mean, you already have a lot of illustrations just from the book itself. Okay, this is a horse. Let's flip through this one really fast. Look at that. Oh, and I have a couple other horses too. Look at that. Just beautiful. You know what, you guys? I'm not going to make this one a part of the collection. Let's see. You'll get, I have too many books here. So you'll get one of these. Okay, so when you open up your package, and by the way, the kit is $32 shipped priority, which is an excellent value. But when you open up your priority mailer, you will pull out this big bag filled with bundle goodness. And it will look just like this. Now, um, you don't see that big bonus item. I'll share that at the end of the video. And then you take out the content. <sighs> now, most of the kit, most of the things in the kit are similar, or the same, rather. But there are a few items that will vary. Okay, so... Oh my goodness, it's so much stuff. I had fun curating this kit. And you know it's special because I made myself a kit and I don't even know where to begin. Okay, let's let's begin here. You get a bundle like this and oh my goodness, this is vintage, you guys. It is that um, dry erase tape. <laughs> So that's definitely back in our childhood. You get a vin vintage ID badge, a vintage label. These are, I got these from an estate sale, and I believe they have age to them. You see different colors and sizes of Rolodex cards. You see a transparent Rolodex card. This will vary by color. Hello, kitty. But I should say bye-bye, kitty. This is dated. You know, I need my glasses on. That's dated, I think, in the early 90s. Um, well, word on the street is, Hello Kitty wasn't so, well, she was fierce. You wouldn't want to mess with her, right? So I'll say bye-bye, Kitty, but she is so cute. And then you get a couple recipe cards, kid-oriented. That will vary. A nice pink envelope. You get this vintage card, a dear Lord prayer, a child's prayer. This type of card will vary. Mine... Is this my kit? No. You know, I don't know. Okay. A wise teacher brings joy to the classroom. I don't know if it's my kit when I get to a couple items. Okay. So now we're going to get into some Susie Zoo cards. And you guys, these are vintage. 
1982. If you've now, I don't remember Susie Zoo growing up, but I came across a lot of Susie Zoo items at a craft estate sale last year. And look, it's so cheery, it's so vibrant, it's so fun. Now, this is one item I debated, it's not too vintage, and I thought. I really don't want to put this card in this kit, but I didn't know what to do with it because it's Angry Bird, right? This is a happy journal. <laughs> well, you could turn him over like that, and then you could use this guy here. He is cute. Now, my color scheme, you will see it's soft. It's not your primary colors, but you have these pretty blues and yellows. Another Suzy Zoo card. Look at that, you guys. And look at the vibrant colors. 1981. Yes, this is a heavenly, heavenly, not heavenly, heavenly <laughs> 80s. You will see some uh, 70s and some a few 90s and fewer 2000s sprinkled in this kit. Look at this, because in childhood, we probably, I never moved. I stayed in the same location my whole, I mean, well into my adulthood. But a lot of people moved during childhood. And you got a baby shower card, um, 1984. Isn't that fun? You probably had a sibling that you can journal about or a cousin or a relative or a friend and then look at this one it's so cute you guys 1985 with the envelopes love that yellow and then look at that one too cute it opens like this and this one is 1986 i was so blessed to come across these suzy zoo items 1978 you guys like that and then look at this come join us oh it's so stinking cute 1980 okay loving that yellow and then you got this card with the blue envelope and i believe this is vintage too these items came from the same estate sale and then look at this you guys oh it's just so stinking cute look at that oh <laughs> so these cards you know, I made myself a kid, and so I I will, I'm thinking about a craft with me, craft along, follow along with me, but you guys don't have to wait on me because I don't know when I'll have my kit done, but when it's done or, you know, I'll share my process, I'll share, of course, the finished uh, project. Okay, so I have matching stationery that's in another bundle, but isn't this nice? So I believe all of this stuff has age. Okay, so let's get into, I mean, the items that are not dated came from the same home. And so it very well could be the 70s and 80s as well. These are Suzy Zoo Memo sheets. You see that one. And then look, it's just so happy. You guys, I look at these images and that computer, you know, that's what we used in the 80s. Did we even have a computer in the 80s? Okay, not in school, right? <laughs> the businesses perhaps had them large tabletop computers. But I look at these images and I get so happy. If you need some happy in your life, you guys, you need to get this kit. I only have five. And look at this. Oh, I love this envelope. It's so fun. And then you'll have one of these. The color may vary. I like to upcycle these. I cut down file folders. And um, you will see how I used the, the cut down part. But I thought it would be nice to, you could clip whatever you want to clip and glue that down on a page. Okay, so this is just one bundle. This might be my bundle. We shall see. Okay, let's get into um, this bundle here. It will come like this if the clip. The clothespin don't come off. And by the way, this is authentic 1980s. If you guys have heard me talk about my love for the clothesline, I was elated when I found a brand new bag of 1980s. Um, I uh, forget the name. And you know, they made them better back then. The ones you get today, they're cheap. They break easy. Okay, so this is a little junk pack here filled with game pieces and vintage and ephemera pieces here's a bible or two bible cards 
I think you only get one like that, but there's two in this kit. Who wants to be a millionaire? I remember this growing up. I don't know. I don't know if this is from the 80s. Oh, it's 1999. But I I like the well, it's money and I like the color of the money. And so I chose money that I thought was fitting. That's Wool of Fortune fitting for this kit look at all the pretty colors okay and then you got that card you got a math card and green a travel and blue and this is a vintage well all this stuff has age to it um you got this whitman whitman happy clown the clown epitomizes our childhood you got that particular card some of these cards come from board games like this bible card that's 80s you got that card and I probably should turn it over. Look at that Perry Mason. Definitely 80s, right? <laughs> I remember Perry Mason. The Perry Mason show. Okay, then you have that math card, the lottery. Didn't it start in the 80s? That's California. That's where I'm from. Then you got that yellow card. And let's go quicker. Okay, um, some of these cards, they have questions and I believe that's an 80s card. Now, yours will vary, but you'll have a bright, vibrant image of some type of like pronoun, adverb, some part of speech. And that's that's vintage. And then you have a Dear Abby card. I wish I had time to read some of these things to you guys because it's hilarious. But I remember reading Dear Abby in the paper and then gosh shocks. I remember going to God Shocks in the 80s. My aunt, she loved God Shocks. And then you have a mail, a card with the mailbox on it. Pay your bill. Got this card here. And then the robot says, I love the color purple. Okay, and then you got some win-lose draw cards. And then another type of card. Look at that money right there. Oh, this is my favorite money. This comes from the Generosity Board Game. Love that. And then you have two math cards you can tear apart. And then yours will vary. These um, school teachers use these. These are vintage. You got a bingo card. Your state. Yeah, this is my... No, this isn't my kit because my card says Washington. Okay, so your state will vary. And then you have an old maid card. Your image will vary. And then Sesame Street. You guys, ah, didn't you watch Sesame Street? In the 80s, I think it still comes on now, right? And then, once again, this card will vary. And then this card will vary. Those are all vintage school cards. Um, this card will vary. The time card will vary. My card says 3 o'clock because 3 o'clock is when scooby dooby doo Where are you? We need some help from you now. scooby dooby doo will come on at 3 o'clock. I would run home, make my grilled cheese sandwich in the oven, and watch Scooby-Doo. And then you get a game piece. It comes from a board game from the 80s. This kit has 1989. And then you got two library cards because the 80s was all about reading books. You got two library pockets with the adhesive on the back. And then you have these, um, these laminated math problems and then you got a large math card and then you have a domino piece that comes from a domino game and that's vintage because at least for me and my siblings we loved to play okay each kit will have a children's sewing pattern pocket which will vary and then i i think workforce connection i think i remember this from the 80s and so I found a pad of these and just stuck it right there. I'm not sure if that was a California thing or a federal thing, but you get a lot of goodness in, in your pocket, in your envelope. Okay, you got some vintage ribbons. Take a look at that, you guys. I love this vintage craft ribbon. And then you got this type of ribbon. I believe it's vintage as well, but I'm not sure. But it's so pretty, so flexible. And then you got a strip of this particular. Now, this is vintage. I could tell by the packaging. And there should be. That is so weird. Did I not put it in? Or did it get stuck down? Okay. 
I thought it was two other strips and other designs, but perhaps not. Okay, um, you will get this pattern. It may not match the pattern on the envelope, but you could use this as ephemera. And um, I don't know if I put... Oh, okay, this one has tissue, but all of them may not have tissue because I... I had to get my bonus item in, you guys, and so if the tissue was too thick, I didn't put it in. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. I thought this was the playing card we used as a child, but that's not the that's not the pattern. But you have a playing card because the 80s for me and mine was all about playing cards. Okay, now this is not just any phone memo message thingy. This is from the 1986 you guys <laughs> love it okay so this is not from the 80s or probably from the 90s either but I thought this was nice these are clear stamps and you can remove these are not stuck to the backing sheet I thought you could leave these as is leave them on the backing sheet stamp up the whole image and then make your background paper of letters and numbers and so each kit has one of those and then now the only napkin I have in this kit is this napkin the barbecue and it is vintage I thought this was so fitting we still love hamburgers and hot dogs today right so you have that image you got your smaller burger and then you have your hot dog and your burger there so fun okay and then everyone has one of this cuz Fila I remember Fila, I believe, yep, in the 80s, right? <laughs> Your color will vary, but I thought this was so fitting. You can add this to the cover of your journal. Now, I didn't have one of those for myself, so I won't add one to mine. But let's see. Oh, okay. Some special items from the 80s, you guys. Let me start with this here. Okay, so... I found a package of these gift bags and yes they're from the 80s and it's of a clown if there's one character I remember it's Bobo the clown or any type of clown right all the kids wanted a clown at their party but I don't remember ever having any parties I probably did I don't know but I remember the clown and so I only I thought I had two packages but I only found one package and the package had four in it I was going to give everyone a whole gift bag but what I decided to do was tear the bag in half and that is so genius because everyone including myself get to have a half of a bag that you can turn into a pocket and so every every one of these have the yellow ribbon isn't that genius and once again it's from the 80s okay you guys you guys if there's one thing I remember Concerning like homework and getting back graded homework are the stars. I was so fortunate to come across a brand new pack of stars. These are the same stars used in the 80s. Look at them, you guys. Every kit will have a strip of these authentic 80s stars. Oh my goodness. I remember we used to take math um, tests. A hundred questions per like multiplication addition and we were timed we only had a minute and if you got all hundred correct you got a star on your paper and how I wish my mom kept that stuff but if you got a hundred you were able to go to the roller skating ring which I went all the time I think we had a trip every week. Yeah, school was nice back then. Okay, the last thing in this bundle, you guys, and it is super special. My memory is not the best, but if I see something or hear something, it'll trigger a memory. I recently came across a roll, a strip of this. Some of you know what this is. You guys, this is what I believe we used on our desk in the 80s when I saw this I knew exactly I mean 
I had a memory, a memory of seeing this on the desk. It, it's a sticker. It's a long stipper, sticker. So you would write your name, write whatever you're going to write on it. And I thank you, Lord. I'm so, you know what? I am so hoping that when I get my journal, well, you know, I have sporadic memories now and I do, I do journal them. I type them up because I don't want to forget them, but I got to fill in people that I'm going to have a lot of conjured up memories as I, you know, put this kit together and when I put my journal together, that is. Okay, we still got more stuff to get through. Oh, you know what? Let's do some Susie Do. Susie Do. Not Susie Do. That's Scooby Do. Let's do Susie Zoo. You know what? I should write a poem. I am a poet. Okay, so you got stickers. You got to have stickers. And these stickers are from the 80s. Okay, so quickly, these are all Susie Zoo, you guys, and you get a nice selection. Look at, look how cute. Now, all the stickers are pretty much the same, but like you will have one that said like this, but it may say something. It might be a different image. So if you don't get exactly what you see, you'll have something similar. Okay, look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness, I look at these images. This is from the 80s. A lot of these are 80s. Um, some are 70s. Some might be early 90s. Just look how fun. Look at that, you guys. You will have, because the 80s was all about stickers. Stickers came in Cracker Jack boxes, in the vending machines. Um, they came in cereal boxes. You got stickers all the time. And last year, I made me a vintage sticker vintage stickers sticker book and i shared one layout with you guys it's going to be this says 93 so some do have the dates it's going to be so much fun to have sticker play look at that and you get a nice configuration you are not i will not do a kit like this kit and i can't see the date there it's really i have my glasses on but it's still small I will not do a kit like this. Um, again, I do want to do more childhood kits, but I'm giving you guys a lot of my Suzy Zoo stuff. And in future kits, I won't give. I won't be so liberal. Now, you may not get these three images, but you will get three images cut from the sheet. And that's true for other designs as well. Okay. We're not done with stickers, right? Now, these are not necessarily uh, Suzy Zoo, but they're they're vintage. They're 80s. Look at that, you guys. Some of you guys might re recall these stickers. Oh, I just love it. And some, like, that has that 70s, 80s look. That one do, too. <laughs> look at the cat. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Now, some of these stickers um, I got with the sheet already cut down. But some I did cut down myself. And then your baby will vary. Look at that face. And then you guys, okay, I know planning and using planner stickers are really huge right now. But these are calendar stickers. And you could use them like your, in your planner. Okay, meeting. Just look at it. It is so vintage. And look at that one. Okay, so let's go through. Look at that. Oh, it's so fun. And then you will get a sticker from a Sesame Street a sheet I had. Mega News. Okay, really? I got to go faster because it's a lot. Oh, this one here. I It was hard to part because I only had one full sheet and then a half of a sheet. You guys, it's 1984, but you feel the flocking. And she is adorable. Adorable. So you have one sticker from this sheet oh i did not want to part with her so now i don't have a full sheet you gotta you gotta have snoopy and charlie brown in the gang right that's totally well that's 70s 80s 90s even now probably okay so your design will vary this is suzy zoo we are going to make bottle cap charms using um this size sticker and then your hand will vary your hit that's definitely 80s if not 70s Okay, so, oh, more Suzy Zoo. Why are Suzy Zoo stickers here? I don't know. Okay, but anyway, um, you see them all. There's a lot. Let me get to these larger sheets. Oh, this is a vintage 
uh, name label. I got it. I, I found a whole book of this. Your design will vary. Okay, so paper dolls. I love vintage paper dolls. I don't recall ever playing with any, but many of you did, and you remember this is 1994, but have fun creating your sticker paper doll. And you guys know this is totally vintage. It's totally 80s. It's all about the soaps. And I had enough to give everyone a full sheet. Look at that. Soap opera spoken here. Stuck on soaps. I love soaps. This is so, oh my goodness, you guys. This is, oh, happy to have those. A full sheet of this. And then you get like a partial sheet and your sheet. You may have different stickers on your sheet. Okay, a lot of stickers, right? You're going to have so much fun. Sticker therapy galore. You can color because I have coloring pages. You got stickers. You guys, you're never too old to be a child, right? I want to be a Toys R Us kid all the days of my life. I don't never want to get so old so old or too old that I cannot enjoy the things that I enjoyed as as a child. Now, I think you guys can agree that this, this kid is not looking so childish, right? It's youthful. You got some school things in there, but it's not, it's not primary school. I mean, it, it's an everyday kit for an everyday happy journal. Okay, you get like this spinner here. You can create the time, do whatever you want. You got a CD pocket. You can add things to it. This is a 70s, you see it here, a 70s calendar journal. So you can read all her business. I'm assuming it was a woman that wrote this, right? Look, uh, carrots and mushrooms. Got the prices there. Oh my goodness, three fifty-two for all that. Wow. Okay, this is special, you guys. <laughs> I don't have any report cards, anything from school, no pictures or anything. When I came across a new pack of these, I was excited. This is the teacher's note home, right? Nineteen eighty-six. So what I'll do is devise my own letter home. I was a really good student, but I might write about something. I'm a little ashamed of <laughs> and then I will forge my mom's name because she's deceased and have been for almost 30 years and then you do get the yellow copy as well love this so happy it's in my kit okay you get one of these vintage school bingo cards this you get sheet music and this comes from a 1980s Sunday school music book I thought it was so appropriate though I was not a Sunday school goer as a child. I probably went every now and again. Once again, I don't remember. But many of you, that's part of your childhood. Okay, these come from a vintage board game. Now, you can journal on these or you can die cut pockets and envelopes out of them. Okay, this also comes from a board game. Love it. It's nice and heavy. You got a scoreboard. You got this. I think it's a brain teaser. That's not vintage. I think that that's 2008. And then you have a card. Okay, your card will vary. This is vintage. This one states 200 pound butterfly. Okay, well you have, oh, it's about Muhammad Ali. All right, okay. So I might exchange that one out. <laughs> okay, and then you have a vintage um, address uh, sheet there. This is not vintage, but I thought it was so fitting for this kit. And then you have yours will vary. That's a laminated prime card. And this will vary as well. There's no date on it. So you see some, some grade school stuff, but it's not overly ch childish. Okay, now you guys, this is authentic 80s. It's a 80s test sheet, I believe. You get one. Your subject will vary. Okay. Here's, oh, this is so fun because the gumball machine, it epitomizes, right, the 80s. So you have a vintage stationery and matching envelope. So fun. And here's that stationery, that card stationery that matches that envelope I showed earlier. And then we care cards. There's no date, but this definitely, this looks like it can be, if not 80s, 70s, right? So cute, right? Great for journaling. Or a page. Okay, and then you have Wool of Fortune sheet. 
I don't know what year. I think we had Wheel of Fortune in the 80s, right? A laminated bingo sheet here, nice and thick. You got this envelope, which I don't, this is, this may be from the 2000s, but I thought it was so fitting. Fun colors. Okay, and then you get one of these. This is not as old as the one I shared. I don't think it is. But you have one. You can cut this down if you want. You can cut out, use a punch and cut out the letters. And then you can also use a punch and cut out the different um, designs. That's so cute. Okay, and then your card will vary. This one says sunshine because this is a happy planner, a happy journal, I mean. Okay, and then you will get an authentic calendar page from the 80s. Okay, this is April, and it has a nice cross-stitch design on the back. Okay, this is vintage, authentic sheet of scribble paper from a vintage scribble pad. This will be folded, you guys. Have to fold that. Okay, and then vintage typing paper. I'm not sure what decade, but in the 80s, I had a typewriter, so it was all about typing. Okay, and this is no ordinary ledger paper people it comes from the 80s yes it the pad is dated okay this is a coloring page this may have come from the 60s or the 70s because a coloring book cost 29 cents and i don't think that was 80s but it is vintage and you could sit down let the child in you come out color up these images right okay i uh, you know what you guys if i had time because i do have the books in the kitchen you know, let me grab this real I wanted fast. to avoid showing the books because this video is going to be super long. But this is the coloring book I pulled the coloring pages out of. This is that pad, 1988. And then this here. Okay, when I saw this, it took me back to grade school. I believe, it's not dated, but I believe these are the ones we used in grade school you guys and if i'm correct you have a vintage 80s <laughs> notebook paper so happy to have that okay and then your paper like this will vary there's five different sheets including one that has dentine we still buy that gum today now i'm not sure if this is 80s but i do believe it's vintage okay and this comes from a 1980s teacher's book yes your page will vary it's so fun oh my goodness okay so this these two pages comes from oh i should have you know let me grab it okay here's that sticker label book i shared that label here there's no date on it but it definitely looks vintage okay so i came across a boatload of these vintage dale puzzles i still buy these today you guys i got a couple upstairs and so this is the 80s i tore out several pages i wanted to put a whole book in this kit but i would not have been able to put the larger bonus item in it so you got a couple pages and some of your puzzles might be completed, but then you should have at least one that's not completed. Okay, and then this is Susie's. Ooh, you got a page from my, I think it's the 19, okay, 2005 Susie Zoo coloring book. So I thought it was so appropriate. And then you have, now I'll put some of these pages in this vintage sheet protector because it is vintage. Let's open it up because we're not done. We're not done. Okay, this comes from a Spider-Man crossword puzzle, 1970s book, because, now I don't know who the characters are, but it once again comes from Spider-Man, but crossword puzzles were big. I used to try to, I still can't figure, okay, I can figure out these, but I can't figure out the ones that has, oh, I guess the other page had the questions. I couldn't figure out those questions. Okay, and then you have um, a vintage card mailer from the games book or magazine. Okay, this right here is fun and yours will vary. I copied these. I found like, I don't know, maybe eight different these funny like diplomas. <laughs> and so I, I made copies of three of them. They're from the 70s, but... The, Fe the Federation of High School Cafeteria. Four years of survival. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I 
I guess because I love cafeteria food. I mean, it. I did not have a problem with it. Okay, and look at this one. Oh, there's two in this one. It should be one. Okay, so um, school dropout diploma. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> okay, and then I pulled. Now I I debated you guys because I I want. You guys saw the books and you saw how vibrant the pages are. I didn't want any other images to steal the show. But I decided to pull from other 80s books and add those. And if you want to use them, you can. I mean, I think I will use them in my book because for the most part, they're 80s. And I, I pulled from books. Like, I don't remember what book this came from. But I pulled from... um it is 80s i like sesame street right look at the images yeah they they're fitting they fit this happy journal perfectly you can cut these down and make cards out of them make pockets make tags so you have a colorful page like that and then you have a page from a vintage i think it's like a a picture dictionary once again you can cut these down it's fun, right? So yeah, I'm glad I, I added these. And then we all know Hermit the Frog. This is Sesame Street. The Muff Muppets. Yeah. And so, so fitting. So 80s. Okay. And then you have a page from a, a toy book. And then the Smurfs. I remember the Smurfs. Saturday morning cartoon. So you have a page there. And once again, you can cut these down and make tags. You got to choose the image, choose the side you want. Okay, you guys, this newspaper is special. It, I came across a whole box of newspaper from the 80s, in particular, the week of probably, well, the biggest earthquake in my, um, in, in, in my state, probably in our nation, in my generation. And it was the earthquake of 1989. In Frisco, Oakland. Some of you guys remember that. Oh my goodness. Earthquakes. Oh, I think I felt one last year. It wasn't too... No, I think I felt one just a couple months ago. I was driving, stopped at a light, ready to get on the freeway, and the car began to shake, and I called my husband. I was so afraid. Um, but I haven't had like a real earthquake, earthquake scare in a long time. But growing up, People, we used to have the earthquake. What do you call them in school when you the drills? Because they were imminent, and yeah, it was always a threat. And we had a lot of earthquakes growing up. I mean, the house would shake. We never experienced any major damage or even minor damage in my neck of the woods in my city. I'm about three hours from Oakland, from Frisco, and I remember this earthquake. So you have a page of history. Yeah, and you can read all about, well, I'm not sure, like this one here has information on the quake, the casualties. At this time, 45 confirmed dead, injured, estimated at near, nearly 2,500. For some reason, I, I remember thousands of people dying. Was there another earthquake in the 90s then? Didn't the bridge fall? Oh, my memory is not the best, you guys. So you have a full page of history. And then I did some dyeing, right? Some dyeing of paper. And we're still not done. You know what? Okay, I'll show the paper now. I dyed some paper. I dyed, let's see, three or four colors of paper. So you see this beautiful lemon color. Oh, I just love it. Once again, I was going for a bright and happy. And so, and then you have these sheets of paper. You have, is it two or three? Two yellows. And the color, the number of colors you get may vary. But you have this beautiful, this is not an orange, but it's in the orange family. You have two sheets of that. You have two of the blues, you guys, that I dyed myself. And then you have one sheet of the purple. So fun. And then we are not done. Um, 
let's see. Oh, okay. So for this kit, this is the book that goes with the kit. And then wallpaper because the 80s was about wallpaper. Your design will vary, but you see that cute sheep that you can make into a pocket and then gift wrap paper all about scramble. Now this, did I say scramble? Okay, this is not from the 80s. I don't know what year. This could have been from the 2000s. Yeah, I think it's at least 10,000 or 10 years old, but it's so appropriate for this kit, right? Scramble has been around for a long time. Okay, we are not done, you guys. We are almost done, but we are not done. Okay, now this is so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. This next thing I'm going to share with you guys is hilarious. We know, let me share. Okay, no, I'll share it. I was going back and forth with what I want to share. Okay, if you are in the supermarket, right, with your parents, and you are, um, you're young, and you're in the checkout line, and you are waiting to, you're looking through the magazines. What magazine do you grab? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This magazine is called, not the National Enquirer, but the National Denier. I think it's from the UK, but it is the 80s. And you each have a page. <laughs> now, this is going back, you guys. You each have a page from this 80s magazine. And for this kit, this one states, Twin Brother Shock's family has secret race change operation. Oh, my goodness. So funny. You could still buy these crazy, moudain, outlandish magazines in the store. I don't look at them no more because, like, I'm so... Okay, my... The page I kept for my own kit was about space aliens because that's what I remember reading the most about. But this is a blast from the past. That's so fun. Okay, you guys, we got a couple other bundles that I am going to try to fly the roof you know let me just share this one. Oh, we got several okay i'm not even sure where i'm at with this video okay so you got this this junk pack here with some vintage okay you you get a um a applique that will vary you got two stamps but your stamps will vary and at least one of your stamps is 80s if not both of them um, but this one says thank you, and this one is of a balloon, and you got some rings in there that you can wear as a ring. You can alter and wear, or you can just take off the top part and, and use them as little trays and add pictures to them. Your jumbo paper clip will vary. You have a die. You have vintage pony beads because I wore the, those in my hair as a child. You have a bottle cap, which will vary. You got a couple of the soda can tops because we used to pop those off and keep those as children. So you have a, oh, your button, your large button will vary. And then you got some smaller buttons in there. So fun and love how that sounds. Okay. And then, oh, the fabric. Let's quickly go through this. Okay, you will get a vintage, what do you call these things? Well, from the, you know, vintage, I think from the 80s, some of them have the date on it. That's 1989, year of the young reader. Okay, the fun fabrics. I chose colors of fabric that I thought was so fitting. And I'm sorry if this, like, is like a girly kit, but depending on how you spin it, you can, you can make it more masculine. Okay. Everybody gets a happy face because this is the happy journal. Your face, your size, and your phrase will vary. You'll get a piece, look at that embroidered butterfly with the with that decorative edge. So pretty. You'll get a square butterfly. The color will vary. And I'll quickly go through this fabric. I love the colors. Look at, you know, I shared some ribbon with the same color scheme as that one. Just look at the fabric. It's so happy. It's so happy. So you can make fabric pockets, tabs. Look at the embroidered flowers there. Now this, this fabric is all thrifted or from estate sales. So I, you know, it's, I can't date it, but I can date this. This is 70s pink gigam. I know that for a fact because I found a doll making kit 
and it was dated the 70s and that fabric came from that kit and look at that oh this is so pretty you guys it's raised okay and look at this so pretty look at the embroidered beautiful work there and then this and then this piece i was like eh. it it it's not scratchy but it feels scratchy but it's not if that makes any sense but i think it's so fitting i don't think it's 80s i think it's older but i think it's fitting okay and then you have a a, a piece of bingo now what i did for my kit was i cut around the bingo card because i don't care for the blue you could also cut out your bingo chips individually a lot of nice fabric i think that's so fitting okay you guys let's get to my bonus items i think oh i think yeah we're we're winding down okay you guys this is no ordinary coloring book page i found a large coloring book and yes from the 80s and you get a page and what's cool about this book okay Every every page had had a name of a a book that we read growing up. This one is the Shoemaker and the Elves, and yes, there's images on both sides. You know, I think I want to do a video coloring up one side, just allowing the kid and me to come out and color. But then my idea for this, once again, and I'll do a video, is to apply contact paper. And then cut it down and make maybe a big envelope or a big pocket. Wouldn't that be so nice? Because you guys, this is 80s. This is so fun. So your your page will vary. Okay, I think this is the last kit. And then I have my large bundle item to share with you guys. Okay, you guys, these items in this envelope, I've taken, taken them out. They're so special. They are Okay, I did add some items in at the last minute. They're not bonus items, but they just got added in. But look, Entertainment Tonight. I think it's from the 80s, you guys. I think, if not 80s, 90s. They have been around for a long time. Okay, and then you get two of my fabric pockets. Oh, I, these are thrifted. I found a boatload of these in different patterns, different sizes. Some little lady sat at her sewing machine. Well, she pressed out the fabric, cut it down, and then stitched to make these pockets. I don't know why, but I cherish these. Oh, my goodness, and I do believe they're vintage. Okay, the file folder, you guys, that piece I showed, well, I took the remainder of it, and I took, I used my vintage, they're vintage now, the Sizzix Red Original Dies. Yeah, those are vintage in the craft world. I use those to cut down pockets. And your designs of tags will vary. Okay, and then, oh, look at this card, advertising card. Look, Sears. By the way, I think they're going out of business, right? So they're going to be vintage really soon. So love that. Okay, and then Kool-Aid. I have not had Kool-Aid in years. But Kool-Aid was definitely a part of the culture in the 80s. Everybody loved Kool-Aid. And how I, I'm on the hunt for one of the original Kool-Aid pitchers. <laughs> okay, your um, flavor will vary, but that is so fun. And then you could use Kool-Aid to dye your paper and dye ribbon and all that stuff. Okay, and then also from the 80s. Now, this is brand new. I would love to come across 80s Kool-Aid packages. You will get two newspaper uh, um, image pieces from the 80s of... Uh, a TV. It may be by a different brand from the 80s. This one is RCA. And then of a camcorder. This is so vintage, right, you guys? Once again, from the 80s. All right. And then you will get... Okay. I come across these quite often at the thrift store. And I, I didn't pick them up. But the other day, I came across a nice selection. A nice box. And these come in different colors, too, I think. I decided to get it. 
because an idea hit my head. And so while I was in the parking lot of this thrift store, sitting in my car, I decided to dismantle, dismantle this um, diskette. And you know what? Let me see if I can So the it. idea was to alter these. Some of you may be doing that. I haven't come across anybody who, who's done it, but I'm sure people have done it. But I dismantled the diskette, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I have these two pieces here, right? And I can definitely see this one being altered. It's nice and flat, but it's durable. So you can alter both pieces. But what came out of it was something we all had in the 80s. <laughs> Look at you guys. Look what came out. This is a record. <laughs> oh my goodness, the record. We had record players in the 80s. And we we didn't buy, well, we had, did we have cassette tapes? I think those were more 90s, but you could buy your favorite artist record. So I will do a video dismantling and altering and yes, turning this into a record from the 80s. Mine's will be a Whitney Houston record because she's she's my fave and she came out in 1985 I believe okay and then also get this piece which could be a clip alrighty um we have two items to share you guys I'm going to share my large largest the the large bonus item and I had to let me tell you I had to fight to get it in the package because I really wanted you guys to have this item your design will vary. Okay, so let me show you what you're going to get. Each kit will have one of these magnetic chalkboards, which will vary, once again, by design. You're looking at a schoolhouse. Yours could be a bunny. It could be a different dinosaur. It could be a clown, a pineapple. It could be a frog, uh, um, a hen, and a chicken, and there are several other designs too. I already have these packaged up, so you can't put in a request. <laughs> okay, but what I had to do was, oh, by the way, it's 80s too, you guys. Look at here. That's why I want you guys to have it so bad because 1989. And I will do a separate video to alter mine. I haven't did it yet, but I have ideas. I could do a full chalk couture. I mean, I have enough where I could I could play around with it and do full chalk couture, but I'm thinking about altering it as well. It's going to be super fun. What I did have to do, though, I had to take off the, the pin holder so it could fit. You do have the pin holder in your kit, and you, you could just glue it back on. There were two nails holding it down, but, you know, glue should be just fine. But, you guys, this is so fun. I'm so happy I got it to fit. Your your package is going to be thick. It's going to be, I, I got that stuff, you know, I believe it's um, packaged really good. I don't think there should be any um, tearing of the paper, anything like that. But I, I got the package stuffed, and I wanted to do that size of packaging. Shipping went up, and so I wanted to keep it, you know, at that price. Okay, you guys, the last item in this. Okay, you guys, and this last item. Oh, I won't, more than likely will not have um, this item in future kits. I, I, don't, I don't know. But let me tell you. Once again, I will not put together a kit like this. I wanted to do it up because this journal is special to me and I wanted to be as generous as possible. So this last item is last for a reason because it's so special. People, let me tell you, it's probably, um, it's definitely one of the greatest um, pieces to this collection because I love to garden. And it pertains to the garden. It's one of my four categories. If you guys heard me talk about that, the garden, the kitchen, and sewing, and my faith are four categories very important to me. And I came across a collection, several collections of this item, 
at the estate sale I got the Susie Zoo stuff from. And it is from the 70s. And oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like it. I couldn't even find a picture online. Okay? Some of you guys might remember this. So let me just show you the whole collection. You guys, it's a kid's gardening kit. Different seed packets and stakes. And a pamphlet. And... There's a large envelope. This one must have fell out. Why isn't the large seed packet envelope in this one? I don't know. Oh, here it is. And let me tell you. <laughs> it is so fitting for this kid. I mean, these images, they go great with the Susie Zoo designs and the pictures in this kit. Oh my goodness, I have already put the kids together. You know what? Maybe I can, because this is the second time I did this video. Maybe what I'll do is insert a segment from the video I'm not, no, no, no. Just look, you guys, you will get one of these C packets. Oh, I guess, let me just take it out. I'll just do that. Just, it's so fun. And the date, you know what, I'm sorry, these are not 70s, these are 80s, I just remembered. These are 80s, you guys. And it says 1987. Look at the images. So each kit will have one of these seed packets. And wouldn't it be something, love the sunflower, my favorite flower, wouldn't it be something if these seeds could, could still grow? They're sealed they're brand new now you will not get one of the stakes i think i'll reserve the stakes for future kits similar to this i'm not sure when that will be or if that will happen but take a look at all of the garden pals i mean oh this blesses me you guys i mean i could have had something like this growing up I started my garden about a month ago. For the most part, every year I'm growing something. And so I love the garden. And to have one of these seed packets in this kit, I'm honored to share it with you guys. <laughs> what a way to... This is a fabulous kit, you guys. You saw how big the... How much you get, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... $32 priority shipped. You can click in the link to this listing. Um, I have five kits available and I, I don't want to give a date, but um, I hope to have uh, some videos up sharing my process within a couple weeks, but I can't guarantee that. Just know I will be um, putting together my personal kit because I can't wait to start jotting down conjured up and recovered memories. But anyway, if you want to be happy, if you want some happy in your life all year long, then pick up one of these kits for 32 bucks shipped. All right, you guys, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And check out my link in the description box. And want to thank you all for watching. As always, bless.